Okay, in this VTM here, what we're going to be doing is exploring console commands. Now, console commands are, well, simply commands that you can type in at the Unreal Tournament console that will cause something to happen inside the game. That's going to rather affect gameplay, affect the camera, affect the player, affect an actor. I mean, there's a ton of different things that we can do, right, Logan? Right, they range from anything from simple cheat style commands to more advanced debugging commands. Exactly. Now, of course, the idea of all of these VTMs that's been included with Unreal Tournament 2004 is to show you guys how to get involved with modding the game. Well, understanding a lot of these more advanced console commands can really make the modding process a lot more enjoyable, if Right, because through these commands, uh, you can manipulate various things currently within the game, which could be very advantageous if you're tweaking stuff. Exactly. Being able to change anything you want very quickly inside of the level as you're playing. As opposed to having to jump back out and, and make some sort of change outside of the gaming environment itself, then perhaps recompiling or whatever, then jumping back into the game. Right, the more you can test, the faster. It'll just make you more productive in whatever you're trying to build. Exactly. Now, let's go ahead and make the intro kind of useful instead of just saying we're going to talk about console commands the end. We're going to go ahead and talk about some basic like kind of like cheat type commands if you will, you know, like god fly ghost stuff like that. And while these are I guess you could say the standard cheats that every newbie to the game goes out and finds off the internet right away, they are kind of important. I mean, if you're new to the whole modding experience, knowing how to go into god mode so that you don't die while you're testing something out could be very important. I mean, if you've got some, well, Logan, if you've got a big monster attacking you and you're wanting right, to... Right, if you're testing the animation on this new monster you just created and don't want to get nuked by it in the process. Exactly. So, I mean, what good is that if you're constantly dead, up, dead, up, dead? I mean, that's not going to let you test much. But being able to go into God mode and, and watch how, let's say, the monster is moving around or, or whatever it may be, I mean, that can be very helpful. And then things like being able to fly or ghost so that you can actually walk through walls and all can be very advantageous as well when dealing with the whole modding process. So these go beyond just you know, doing something that's kind of neat for gameplay effect, if you will. Um, and we're going to start out simple, just looking at some of these basic cheat commands and move type commands. And then we're going to move on from there. We'll get into how to do key bindings because that can be very helpful as well, uh, just for the simple fact that you may have a series of commands that you type over and over and over. And this can, well, speed things up, if you will. And then we'll move from there into more advanced commands, and we'll also start looking at certain commands that take arguments as well. And uh, from there, we'll talk about some cam camera commands and uh, some bot and path testing commands as well. So a bunch of different things out there. If uh, you guys out there are some experienced Unreal Tournament uh, game players, then you may be familiar with a lot of these, and there may be just a, a couple of hidden gems in here that you may not be aware of. Uh, but... Either way, hope you get a lot out of this. We think that uh, some of these commands are very important. Okay, I babbled on long enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at some simple ones. Mm -hmm. Starting out with God. Okay, so God, basic God mode, really. Just typing in God and hitting, in, hitting enter. So down on the side of the screen, we had, it said God mode on. Well, that's what happens when we shoot. Um. Yeah, generally, shooting a rocket at your foot is a is a very bad thing, right? Because well, after a couple times, you're dead. But as you can see, Logan's now shooting in his health. And if you look in the bottom uh, left hand corner, lower left hand corner of his Unreal Tournament window, you'll notice his health is not being affected whatsoever. But now, all because you've got God enabled right now. That does not mean that you, there's no way you can die. Right, right, it will not prevent you from dying in all cases. Generally, in instant kill type scenarios, non true damage based. Like a telefrag? For, yeah, thing? for example, being telefragged, or even falling through parts of uh, a kill zone, or maybe the kill Z of a level. Okay. So, for example. Like here. Ah, splat. No. So, God Mode usually does remain on, though, even after you manage to die while God Mode is on, you still retain the effect. And even though you're seeing the, uh, the health icon, if you will, all the way around your screen right there, you're not affecting your health, so God Mode, obviously, is still on. Okay. Okay, so, so now let's go ahead and take a look at Fly. So the ability, let's say you're designing a level and you want to quickly get from point A to point B without having to travel all through a, a series of corridors. You want to just fly up to some point. Right, you've made a capture of the flag map where the goal is to like climb this treacherous mountain. <laughs> but all of a sudden you decide you want to check your flag placement and it's all the way on the top of the mountain. And you don't want to run all the way through the level. So simply type fly and in the console you feel much lighter. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and you do. You can fly now. So at this point, and when in fly mode, the controls are the same as swimming, basically. Okay. So it's kind of like swimming through air in a sense. So you're still just moving forward with your regular move forward key, and you're strafing left and right, just 
there's no gravity that's affecting you. Right. You're floating around. <clears throat> that's right. But if you bump into something like a static mesh, ugh, you don't go through it. Right. right. You still collide. That's right. Now, knowing how to fly, that's good. But what if you do need to actually travel through static meshes? What if you want to get from point A to point B and you don't want to have to worry about dodging things? Or what if you need to actually get out of the level? Okay, You can do that as well, but you can't do it with fly. You need to do it with ghost. So you type in ghost. And with ghost, it's the same controls as fly. It's basically just like you're flying, except that your player no longer collides with anything. So if I fly through the support, not a problem. You flew right through it. If I fly to the floor, also right not a problem. It. I fly completely outside of the level. Right through it. So now you are in a world of solid mass at the moment. It's really cool, too, because some levels look really neat when you just back away and you look at them from out there. But this can be very useful. If you haven't by any chance, I'm talking to those out there watching the video right now, watched our, uh, what was it, the bot pathing lessons that we did. That VTM talked about needing to actually ghost out of the level. So just that we can watch a bot when we had a bot spawn into the game, what he did when he didn't see us. So we could just simply uh, jump back out of the level using ghost, uh, spawn the bot in or add a bot in, and then Watch what would happen where he would, you know, rather go after weapons or start following his path nodes or just do nothing at all if there was nothing there for him to go to. Right, just to check the natural behavior of the bot on his path nodes as opposed to constantly having to worry about him fighting you instead. Exactly, because, you know, if he saw you, that's what's going to happen. He's going to go into an attack mode.